what are we doing to go to do? Change some flue pipe, right? So we're going to change some flue pipe in White Plains, New York. Okay, so furnace flew all the way out, and here's where we made the temporary repair. All right, let's go grab some parts so and tools. We're so we're gonna change the flue piping all the way down to the furnace. So from here, and then out, transition. What's that? Yeah, the bottom is a big hole. If you look under this masking tape, mastic tape, I said masking, mastic tape. And there too. Straps right here and disassemble all this and then run new pipe. Let's see what we have. Boom, fixed. So we use this strap or we put this strap back up and then we use this temporarily to hold it. So now. Do this. Okay. So that's fresh. Now we're just gonna test our furnace right here. Draft inducer. Proving pressure switch. HSI hot surface igniter. Gas valve will click. Flame sensor to sense flame. And your fan motor should kick on. Two stage heating, this is nice. I'm gonna check the uh, humidifier too, just to make sure water's on properly. Very well. Humidifier, April air. And turn it to 35%. No water valve on and test it. These magnets here. There you go. Pop that back in there. And then we'll go ahead and there and make sure you're for winter dampers open. And we're going to set it, like I said, to 35%. Yeah, I wouldn't, you know. It could just be like the that Ajax or whatever. I got you. Grab the table, put it back the way it was. Personally. When my kids say to me, listen, I'll say, no, I didn't need to go down. I'll say, yes. Remember, this is your job. She said, I'll feel comfortable. That one's done. Let's see. Uh, see if we have another call. All right. Man. We're going to a no heat call in Westchester County. It just says no heat. It says installed air conditioning in spring, but has no heat. 
So I I don't think one thing has to do with the other unless it's a heat pump or something. We'll see what it is. Um, that's it. What it is. <sighs> yeah, those all they were so tight. How you doing? Um, so right now, you guys, you guys are either air conditioning over the summer. Okay. Now that it's cold, we try to put the heat on. The uh, heat doesn't, it doesn't stop, it doesn't control the stuff. Okay, can we look at it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys got masks? No. Let me give you one. Uh, Show me what you got. So typically, you used to be able to do this. You would come here, you would say this. Heat. And you would have the heat option. Now you only have cool. And this is Eco B. Yep. It's not reading W. Johnny, just stay in your room, okay? Just stay in your room, okay? Okay. Reading W here. W. Fahrenheit boiler for hot water heat. Equipment back, back, main menu, heat. Look at this setup, bro. This is fucking trash. Man. Look at this. Look at that. Illegal. Fucking pressure relief valve, bro. So we're gonna jump out R and W, R H and W, and we're gonna see if it's not that eco B. Because I went ahead and reconfigured the equipment, found W. However, we're not getting third floor here. So he's got air in his. his it seems like. But let's go jump R and W and see if we can kick on that zone. Take R H and W, jump it out and see if we can kick it out. Here's my W. Right now my boiler's kicking on and kicking off. So it tells me my thermostat's bad. Or my thermostat's not sending the signal. And I went ahead and reconfigured. Excuse me guys, I have a mask on. It's on, right? And now it's off. Now it's on? Okay. Tells me my thermostat's back for heat. In. I just put the R and the W back in. Let's see if maybe that wasn't the problem. How is it? Let's see. Hey guys, so that actually worked. So we, we took the R and H wire out, the W wire reconnected it after we knew that it wasn't. Yeah. Yep, we're starting to get heat. And now we're getting heat. That's a beautiful thing. New joints. They're like the Jordans of the of the uh, century, the shoe covers. Johnstone, white glizzy. All right, so he's all set, he's got heat. Um, basically just had to reconfigure the Ecobee. I don't know how it lost its program, but it did. Beautiful smart thermostats. Um, and I just wanna see this Bryant that we put in in the summer. Like I was saying before at the beginning of the video though, I don't think one thing had to do with the other, but he's a good customer. And this is 2022, 15th week of 2020, 15th week of 2022, nice unit.
All right, guys, let's go to the next shop. We're going to go to another call in Greenwich, Connecticut. So it's like a half hour from us. Let's see what it is. It says no AC, but I don't. I can't see that being true. Or maybe, I mean, it's 52 degrees today, so it's a little cool for that. But let's see what it is. I mean, some people, especially where we're going, like that town, they're like, what? Entitled, kind of? Or no? Entitled to AC and everything. They're entitled to everything you said. <laughs> so we'll see what it is. I didn't say that he did. I'm just repeating what he said. So I didn't say that they're entitled people. He did. Right? Yeah. You said that? White privilege. <laughs> Yo, for real? What'd you say? White privilege? White privilege. My hands are white. You got the cards with white privilege? You see your hands. They're whiter than mine. So what do you mean? It's white privilege. <laughs> it's so he said, it's, he said it's white privilege to have... What? AC and heat. AC in... 52 degree weather That's just fucking Asinine assholes If you ask me yeah, Right Alright We're no bitches You feel me Oh yeah They say it I'm telling you What is that A doorbell The owner Okay Thank Can we come in or no Okay be in spots where there were no bitches. Okay, so we're looking for hydro heat and blowing out cool air. Okay. Let's go to the boiler. Was a no AC call, a new no heat call, but of course it was written as a no AC call. Don't ask me how that works, but um, I'm waiting to get a ladder. And we're gonna just check our temperature coming out of my supply, and then we'll go down to the boiler. It's the first button on the left. Sixty-three point nine. You said. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the other therm. Let's go to the other zone. 66.2 supply here, which will be the second zone. And then we're going to go to the boiler after. I just want to see what's coming out right now. Okay, 64.9. Let's go to the boiler now. Yes, please. Or at least to the front door, right? Hey, little buddy. Hey, little baby. Cute. Oh, it was like that. Okay. Okay. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? What it is, right? So we're going to see this heat up. And then we're going to check our zones. And we'll see if they're airbound. And or maybe a circulator's bag, we'll find out. I see that. It's the air. Airbound. Good. How are you doing, buddy? Grandpa, can you go upstairs and we're gonna check those supplies now? Cause we're hot and we're hot. We're gonna check the thermometer, see what the heat's coming out with the vents at the supply. So 109.6 there. That's good on that loop. We're gonna go to this thermostat and we're gonna check where we checked before in the master. Just make sure this is calling 80 degrees, 78. I'll call for here. Coming out of that supply. So those two zones are good. Now we're going to check his hot water. That's good there. Beautiful thing. Right, so now we're going to go and we got to change that triticator. 
gauge because that's reading zero PSI and I popped the relief valve. But, uh, and then we have to change the ball valves because he wants the gate valves replaced from the ball valves. All right, guys, so that uh, call's all set. They're heating. Um, we have to return with a pressure temp gauge and the customer wants, wants us to replace three of those um, gate valves. They're half inch gate valves threaded with um, some ball valves per his just preference. Um, that's it. Let's see if there's another call. You want to call the That's office? It. So there's no other calls. Um, yeah, that was just simple uh, airbound system. And that's good. That's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notifications. Take care. Have a good day.